Hey YouTube, it's me once again. This time it's a uh, small little product review, unboxing kind of video. I've already unboxed or unwrapped the uh, product, but this is an item that I just purchased, got in today. Alright, it is a USA digital laser photo techometer, non-contact RPM tech, mo tech meter motor speed gauge. Alright, it's basically an RPM gauge. It's a digital uh, here's different pictures of it. I will show you a picture of it in a second. It came with batteries. These are just other options, other items you can pick up. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? There's some more pictures of it. We'll get you down here some uh, technical specifications. Alright, it says this is a highly accurate digital laser photo tachometer. Measure rotational speed with a ver with a visible red light beam from a powerful LED. It is a great tool to measure the RPM motors, mechanical parts, the speed of a lathe, milling machine for metal or woodworking, or for HVAC applications to measure fan speed. To take the measurement, apply a reflective mark included in package onto the target object, aim the laser beam at the mark the RPM displays on the LED screen. Alright, this is a 180 by 72 by 37. Alright, that's millimeter, and then they also have it in inches. Alright, this is powered by a one, one nine volt battery, which was included with it, which was not too bad. High intensity class 2 laser measured from 2.5 to 99.99 RPM, so 99,000 RPM. Extra large 5 digit LCD. High accuracy of positive negative 0.05%. Auto zero adjustment stores last minimum slash maximum readings. Detection distance up to six feet. So I can uh, basically put this up on the turbine, and if I'm within six feet of it, I can measure it. All right. New digital laser photo tachometer, non contact, you know, same thing. Comes with a carrying bag, approximately 75 centimeters of reflective tape, carrying bag, reflective paper. So it comes up with just a little bit of everything, and plus how you pay for it. Alright, so this is the item that I got off eBay. It ain't too bad on price, $14.99, free shipping. Alright, well, and here is the product. Comes in a nice little blue bag here. Alright, we're going to open it up so you can see what's inside. Okay. Alright, and there's the little meter. All right, just basically two functions. There's where that laser end is. Battery goes in this area. All right, just got two simple buttons. It's got a test button, which is you have hold and test, and you point it at your item, as you can see the laser on the computer. All right, and you got a memory, and it'll pull up your last, whatever your RPM was, last readings. All right, and that's just, you know, pretty simple little box. All right, and what else they have? Here's a reflective tape. Uh, it's basically a sticker. You cut a little piece off and you put it on whatever, and then you point your laser at it. And every time that that reflective tape tape reflects the LED light back into the item, so you can measure your RPM. All right, and it's just a little operational manual. Not really a whole lot to it. it tells you how to operate it. All right. And it tells you how far away, the dizzering, measuring, consideration, things like that. Alright, not really a whole lot in it, just a few pages. Alright, we'll put that back in there. And we've already set up a little small test rig here. All this is just a little small treadmill motor. Alright, and I've already got a piece of that reflective tape on there and a small 12 volt battery. So we're going to go ahead and fire on up. Get everything here to put together. Uh, get back on here. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing to run. So we can do a small test. Might be a pain in the butt to do this all by hand, but let's see what happens here. All 
Alright. There we go. One of my brushes has fallen out of this little piece I've got. So it's been a pain in the butt to hold it all together. So let's see here. It might end up trying a different motor. There we go, we got our lock in place. Alright, here we go. And it says test. And we got it pointing at it. And you can see the little, where the little tape is, and it's reflective. And it says the motor is moving at 647.2 RPMs. Which was, sounds about right. Because if you look on here, it says maximum RPM is 6,700 RPM. That's at 130 volts DC. I got a 12 volt battery to it so if you technically divide that by 12 you're gonna get roughly 640 rpm because this is gonna be 10 times smaller so basically 6,700 6, divided by 10 is gonna be about 670 rpm and we're showing about 644 so if the battery is a little bit dead that's gonna be about true so we'll be able to use this on stuff around the house, and as you can tell, you can accidentally mess it up. But it's going to be the same. If I had to put the tape out here, it would read, you know, the same. 645. See, I got two pieces of tape in there. So, there you guys go. Smaller view of a little tachometer. RPM gauge. So we'll be using this stuff, this for stuff inside the shop here when we start testing other PMGs, PMAs, motors, just about anything. And it'll give you an idea of what it takes to produce power. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Just a small little review, operational review, and one last time we'll take you a look at the uh, PMG putting out power. Look at that. 27.2 volts at 8.5 amps you see it jump up there a little ways we can watch a little bit of this for a little while if you like yeah. look at that nice little wind speeds there huh nice I mean this has been putting out power all day long this is the first time I've ever seen my battery bank hold above 27 volts guys it's usually running 25.4, 25.6. So this turbine has really been doing good for the battery bank. Alright. Alright, well, that's just a teaser on the meters. And I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to comment, like, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you YouTubers later.